So I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of my favorite forearm exercises, it's just easy on the wrist. So this one I made a while ago, just a piece of stick. Here's a metal screw in here, tied. Tied to a carabiner and I put it on weight. So let me show you real quick an example. Here's a water bottle. If you don't have a carabiner, you can just tie it to it. It's not a big deal. And if the weight's not too heavy, you can do super high reps. You can figure it out, you can play with it. Also, if you don't have a water bottle or a weight, you can use a backpack filled with books or rocks, whatever you can find to add some source of weight. So here's some ways you can do it. Pretty much, just curl your wrist till eventually the water bottle comes up. You can slowly release it, that's one way, or bring it back up, flip it around. So now you're working up that motion. There's the water bottle. You can do other things with it, but those are the two primary things that I do with it. You might find other resources online. Someone else is doing something a little bit different, but let me show you how to make it. This handle is really small and I actually prefer something a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna be taking it off. Where I live, there's a lot of bamboo. So you can just chop some bamboo down. You'll need to drill two holes and then have it, you can tie it on the outside and you're pretty much good to go. But uh, I want something a little bit thicker. With the pipe, it's a thicker handle. So I prefer something like this for right now. So I'll show you how I'm gonna make it. It's really simple. I'm limited with tools. So I'm just gonna use a knife. Here's the pipe. And I'm gonna try to, just, I'm gonna put a hole in the center. It doesn't need to be exact because you can just move your hands to whatever direction you want. Okay, got my mark. So this is the hole. I'm gonna take some paracord and put it through. If you have some other rope that's strong, you can use that as well. Here's the paracord or some sort of rope that you have. This is not going to go in. I need to burn the edges. Okay, now we're good to go. Okay. Now that the rope is through, you can either tie a knot, depending on how big this hole is. If this hole is too big, you'll need to tie a screw of some sort to this. But I'm just going to tie a basic knot. Okay, that's it. Pull it down. It's nice and tight. So this is a figure eight knot that I already tied. If you wanna just use this, you can just, if you don't have a carabiner, that's fine too. You can just tie this to the weight or the water bottle or a backpack filled with rocks, whatever's heavy, even a bucket, it doesn't matter. But since I have an extra carabiner, I'm gonna use this, okay? Now, you're pretty much good to go. So let's put some weight on it and try it out. Here's the setup, quite basic. Since the rope is too long, I'll have to roll it up first. And then from here, start rolling it up. And the fatter grip's gonna be harder, so it's not gonna be as smooth. Okay, can slowly release it if I want or I can flip it. So now I'm coming on the inside. There you go. Very simple exercise you can do for your forearms at home. Happy training.